what's happening real fast jumped in here to give y'all this quick little trade man gj man i want to explain this to y'all because a lot of y'all be asking how do i get this many pips and trades how do i know to stay in the trade when do you close the trade simple man as you can see my chart is colorful it got a lot of things going on that people talk disparagingly about but don't worry about these people worry about what i'm gonna tell you okay so check it out guys this is what's going on you see this very top right corner where it says 80 all that's the average daily range i'm gonna give you the source right now man um average daily range is how many pips the market is expected to give it at, at, at any session right so for the day we're expecting 130 162 uh three pips i'm so tired pardon me and uh that's exactly what you see here so how did i get 160 simple if you go and we mark it up i mean the reason they're calculating is from the market open let's say the market opened i think the market would have opened here but yeah right around here would be the market open okay so if we're looking that's about 100 pips right there now it's counting up and down so let's see when it reversed how many pips would that be so that's about 30 41 so about when you total that that's about 92 for the day's total of pips going up and down and as you can see we got that so we got today's total pip count and we're looking for that 160 so we're not getting out till 163 pips per position okay so i do have one trade open from yesterday uh last last night i did take this trade i saw this uh level got created right here as you can see price broke down into here when it formed what did i do wait for that candle to close and boom i took the trade now i heard people saying oh why are you waiting for the candle to close for why are you on a one hour listen guys don't listen to these people man listen to the results okay uh if you think the banks don't know what you're doing on a five minute chart you're crazy uh i heard somebody say that they'll watch they know what people are training on a one hour and four hour they know what you're trading on the one second they know what you're trading on the one minute they know what you're trading on the one day they know what you're trading on the one month they know what you're trading period as you can see from my chart this is actually the bank flow that you're looking at and i'm not going to give out the algorithm but let's just just tell you right now that's the bank flow okay so long story short man i see people taking their little shots at what's going on over here behind my man said in the discord 100 pips a day keeps the job away man if you want to be losing trades and, and staying attached to these people for years trying to figure out how to trade do what you got to do but once again i'm not trying to be cocky or arrogant because the market will destroy you when you get too cocky but it's good to be confident and believe in yourself too but um yeah uh, as you can see the reason i'm able to stay in this trade is because i know we have not hit the average daily range okay so let's break into this average daily range talk as you can see the high of the day was now created and that means that the market is ready to pull back okay so the market is trying to pull back because we're at the high of the day but like i said the average daily range is 163 so i'm not really convinced that we're getting out now what i did do if you pay attention is i simply secured all my trades okay so all these trades are trade free and they're all in profit okay so this is a small account things is like a thousand dollar account it's nothing it's just that uh i'm not going to be showing money too much on this channel anymore i'm just going to focus on um the pips i'm going to focus on um you know the progress and just showing you guys you can trade anything now for anybody who's trying to get slick who don't uh you know who don't want to respect it you know we could still we could still get crazy you see you can still get crazy there's other there's other mt4s out here man there's other mt4s out here guys there's other mt4s out here man don't don't get don't get too comfortable thinking that, oh he he he's taking it easy nah it's other mt4s there's there's four more running i'm not even gonna show you the other four because like i said it's a circus out here on on this on these streets i got another one running uh four digit pips and i'm not even gonna show it because it's just too ridiculous man so i'm not gonna be posting no money no more i'm just focused on the pips i'm gonna let that speak for itself and um yeah if you people want to um continue to be you know running around in the circus do what y'all gotta do but uh, i see the slick stuff that's being said and done just know that the results will speak for me i was i did make some videos i was gonna upload those i was gonna post them i said no nah, let me not get caught up in the circus so i'm gonna just stick to showing y'all results man um yeah that's it i'm not even going to talk about no services man if anybody ever want to know what's going on just hit the description check the links in the description i'm not even going to talk about nothing else i'm just tired of this man I'm tired of the nonsense i'm tired of playing with people man but anyway uh 
Yeah, man. They'll just know that the banks know what you're doing on any time frame. The reason I trade the higher time frame is simply because on the higher time frame, we can get what you call We can get more pips. So that's the only reason I trade that. Okay. So don't don't be thinking when you hear people saying stuff about time frames it matters. Don't worry about my time frame or day time frame. Just worry about y'all's. Don't worry about these this stuff that people are telling you because that's what's working for them. May not be what's working for you. Okay, so like I said, man, don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it, okay? So that's all I could tell you guys, man, because I, I already, I really don't know, man. Really don't know what to tell you guys, man, because I see the circus. So that's what I said. If I show you these other trading account, people might get upset. So I'm going to start keeping a little bit more humble on the net because you could fix so many things on here. It's not even worth bothering. It's not even worth bothering, okay? So... You know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Oh. Got a sub. Okay, I forgot I had the alerts on. My fault. But anyway, I digress, man. So I'm I'm in the video here. Just know that um Let me go back to the other account. Let's show the small account. The small account. Let's show the baby account, man. Let's show the baby account. Let's show that account some love, man. This is one of the accounts I started out on. Um, and I, there is something I do want to tell y'all, man, because a lot of y'all don't be understanding certain things, and um, I'm definitely going to explain you something real fast before I dip out of here. Let's go back to the baby account. Stop showing y'all um, account number on y'all videos because y'all know I make software, right? If With an account number, you can access somebody's account. So that, that's one of the main reasons y'all shouldn't be showing that, but y'all be so busy focused about, is it demo? Is it, is it real? Is it, is, it, is it real? Is it demo? Keep showing your real account number and <laughs> see what's going to happen. Be glad I'm not a scumbag because a couple of y'all could have went in there and got crazy on y'all. Stop showing y'all account numbers. That's the reason they tell y'all not to do it. It's the reason they tell y'all not to do that. But y'all be wanting to flex so bad. Y'all be wanting to front so bad. So keep showing your live account numbers if you want. And uh, just to let you guys know too, man, those of y'all that's out here um, using these live fake accounts, man, just know that uh, if you show that account number, I could tell. Just know that I'll go right in there and check and see. You know what I'm saying? I had that thing. I had that thing taking all kinds of trades for you. I tell you that now. Be careful. So I'm just giving y'all a heads up, man. Y'all be thinking it's sweet out here, and it ain't. But anyway, I digress, man. So just know, average daily range, guys. So I'm looking at the average daily range of 163. I do not have to get out because I'm in three positions. If I total those positions up to 163, that's still more pips left because those are all stacked up. So I'm just waiting for my trade of the day to hit 163 when i hits 163 then i know to close all my trades for the day okay i'm not too greedy i'm not gonna swing it i'm not gonna intraday it well i am technically swinging it but i'm not gonna intraday it because well i kind of can't say that because i'm in a trade from yesterday too right so let's just say when i hit 200 pips i will close all of this all right so i'm out of here guys let me know what you think in the comment section man i'm I'm done. I'm just, I'm a little tired. My energy ain't really correct because I'm sleepy. I, I need some coffee or something. I've been up for the, for the whole day. I've been trading since last night and I haven't slept and it's the next day and the afternoon. <laughs> but anyway, it's your boy Jimmy. I'm out of here, man. Hit me up with any questions. Like I said, if anybody want to know what's going on, just hit the, hit the description. I'm tired of even promoting. I don't feel like promoting nothing. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.